Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. You know what Mo is here to do, she's here to give you the latest in science and health news. So let's just jump right into it, of course. I've come across many news articles about microbes that degrade plastic, and particularly mostly bacteria that degrade plastic. However, scientists have discovered a fungus that degrades plastic. Now, why is this important? Because the fungus one is not terrestrial, okay, or extraterrestrial. <laughs> the fungus is actually a marine fungus, and we don't know much about marine fungi and what they do out here in these ocean streets, you know. <laughs> now, what makes it even more special is that the plastic degrading funga fungus was found in the North Pacific subtropical gyre, gyre, <laughs> which is home to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, wow. right? So we got some plastic degrading uh, microbes out there, fungus too, to help out. Isn't that, that sounds great, right? So I found a research paper titled Biodegradation of Polyethylene by Marine Fungus Peringiodontium Album. Yes, album, as in a record album. Now, polyethylene is the most popular, uh, famous, or maybe infamous plastic which makes this a little bit more exciting. Like you eat polyethylene, mm, great. So let's read a little bit from the intro or the introduction. We isolated the fungus, Peringiodontium album, from biofilms covering floating plastic fragments collected during a scientific expedition to the North Pacific subtropical gyre. Our main aim for this study was to investigate the capability of this fungus to degrade polyethylene or PE, that's what they shorten it to. For this, we incubated P album with non-treated and UV-treated carbon-13 labeled poly polyethylene and traced the polyethylene-derived carbon from the polymer source to the terminal oxidation product CO2, which allowed us to calculate fungal-mediated polyethylene mineraliza mineralization rates. So what they did was they collected some of the trash from the garbage patch, the great garbage patch, all right? isolated the fungus, and cultured the fungus with polyethylene laced with carbon-13. We all know about carbon-12, that's what we probably are, are familiar with, but carbon-13 is an isotope of carbon, just another form, right? And before introducing the fungus to the polyethylene that's laced with the carbon-13, they treated some of the plastic with UV light first, and then for the rest of it, they did not treat it with UV light to, to have that as their control, right? So what were their results? For the plastic that was not treated with UV light, it seems like degradation did not occur. Quote, without prior UV treatment, we could not detect degradation of polyethylene in the same time frame of our experiment, end quote. Now for the UV treated plastic, it says, well, when the PE was treated with UV light, the biodegradation rate of the initially added PE was 0.044% per day. Furthermore, it states, quote, our results thus provide further evidence of the hypothesis that an initial step of partial, in parentheses, UV-induced plastic degradation accelerates microbially mediated degradation or is even Crucial. So it's like you need the UV light to first help with the degradation. Now it should be noted that the experiment was done in a laboratory environment, which is a controlled environment. So that's not the same as the fungus floating around in a garbage patch, okay, what it's doing out here in the ocean streets. And being that uh, UV light, well sunlight has UV rays, it's touching basically the surface of, of the ocean, the surface of the water. So that helps with the degradation of the plastic that's on its surface, the top, but you know, not so much with the plastic that is in the deeper waters, okay? Let me know how you feel about this fungus that they detected out here on these ocean streets, eating up, chomping up plastic, all right? So if this is your first time watching, thank you for watching. If this is your last time watching, thank you for watching, but I hope you all come back, all right? I will see you next time. Peace.